Hey, welcome everybody. It is a beautiful day, a little humid. If you're watching with us live on July 8th, 2020, good afternoon, I should say, since it's noon. But good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. If you're watching us at another date and time, that's awesome too. That way I covered all of the bases. Time is relative in the internet. It's all awesome anytime. So hello and welcome to our class with Herm. I'm Herm. I'm an artist and illustrator who loves baseball and I love to draw it. And I figure, you know, with the quarantine and the pandemic and stuff to keep everybody inside and insane, we wanted to have some fun. So we started this like quarantine art club kind of thing. And every episode, what we've been doing, we focus on a baseball themed drawing, most likely involving the Mets, because I'm sure most of us here are Mets fans and we like to draw that. This is actually our 25th episode, which is awesome. So a lot of... A lot of growing, a lot of awesomeness has been happening on our show. And thanks to everyone for tuning in right here. So if you want to go back and watch all the other episodes and draw all the other things we did, City Field, Shea Stadium, Keith and Haji, I mean, we, we're pretty creative on this show. Uh, don't worry if you're a completist. You can simply scroll back and watch all of the other episodes that we did. Just scroll back on whatever platform you're watching right now on Instagram or Facebook, for example. Uh, but if you prefer something like YouTube, we made it real easy for you. You can go on artclassswithherm.com. That's going to bring you to a YouTube playlist of all of the videos that we did. And you can watch them awesomely on your TV and have a great time in the backyard at a movie drive-in and stuff. Drive-in movie drawing would be cool. I'm going to write that down. Anyway, so cool. Let's talk about what we drew in our last class. So last year, last year, goodness me, last week, <laughs> we drew fireworks. Mr. and Mrs. Met watching fireworks. So if you guys are anywhere, if your neighborhood's anywhere like mine here in Bay Ridge, it is Fireworks Central for the past month, I would say. So it was fitting to have Mr. and Mrs. Met enjoying it. So thanks for everybody that drew along. We shared them. They were amazing. Like we do on all of our classes, we choose three artists who we thought did an awesome job. And we'd like to give them a $10 gift certificate that they can use on the Seven Lines website. So this week, uh, big shout outs to Jonathan, Elena, and John. So remember, you can watch any of those episodes and submit your drawing there. And then if, if we love it and it looks great, we're going to pop it up on there. So if they all look great, spoiler alert. So cool. So I'll send you a code for that in just a couple of days or so. So be patient and I'll get that to you in a bit. Cool. So before we get into our drawing, let's talk about some of the supplies that we're going to be using today for our drawings. So like we always say in our class, everything is pretty open to interpretation. You can draw with whatever you want. I'm going to be using my handy dandy brush pen. I love these things. They're unbelievable. Um, I'm going to be having a standard piece of paper. This one I just pulled right out of my printer uh, tray. This is eight and a half by 11, but you could use a bigger sheet if you wanted. Pens, pencils, crayons, and stuff. Uh, I like to draw with crayons what we're doing with this. So today I have a kind of a lot of crayons. So I'm going to be using blue and green and red and brown and yellow and orange. Uh, and that's so we can get all the colors of the, the seats from Shea Stadium and stuff. And yeah, so we can get that there too. So cool. Uh, and then, yeah, and then one last thing. I like to have a nice, delicious cup of coffee while I'm drawing. It always keeps me perked up. I'm on my third cup right now. So big shout outs to our sponsor. Oh, <laughs> Silly Coffee. Oh, my God. They have been so gracious and hooked us up. And by sponsoring this episode with us, I wanted to give them a nice big shout out. So at the moment, I'm drinking my Captain's Blend. I like a nice warm cup of coffee, but they have a lot of stuff. So you can check out uh, their big sale is their Sail Away Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. I have that right here. Look at the beads of deliciousness on there. Look at that sweating. It looks good. So delicious. I'll have that in a few, uh, but it's infused with nitrogen, which gives it an incredible creamy texture. It's organic, dairy and gluten free. Check out sailawaycoffee.com to see all that they offer and get something awesome. And as a big thank you to, to you guys for watching, Sail Away Coffee has hooked us up with a 20% discount. Oh, man, how awesome is that? If you go to checkout and type in HERM20, that's H-E-R-M-2-0, you get 20% off of your order. So they have some awesome delivery service with donuts and food and coffee, obviously. I ordered some coffee and I got it in a day. I'm not even exaggerating. So that's pretty awesome. So check them out. Thank you again, guys, for sponsoring us. And I will be enjoying my delicious cup of coffee right now. <laughs> 
There we go. Look at that. Cool. All right. Now, let's get to it. So, today we are going to be drawing. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. The, the, the I don't even know how to say it. The Shea Stadium Parachute Jumper from Game 6 of the 1986 World Series. Uh, this is probably one of my most favorite Mets moments, second to, or maybe right up there with the 50 cent first pitch. And I think one of the most awesome New York moments in history too, which is really cool. So we wanted to shout out uh, Michael Sergio, who is the awesome individual that j literally jumped from a plane and landed in Shea Stadium during game six of the World Series. So I, I have no words. It's unbelievably awesome. It's one of those things that, uh, you know, I seen it like I, I was three in 1986, so I, I don't have much memory of this. But I remember seeing there's plenty of newspaper articles about it. He was on the cover of every newspaper at that. And he rocked it. It was unbelievably awesome. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can read about it online. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, but just a little history in the first inning of game six of the World Series. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, Michael Sergio jumped from a plane, sign of the times, right? It landed right in the middle of the of the game, high five, drawn darling, and was escorted away to paradise. So, man, Michael Sergio, a big shout out. We love you, dude. That's awesome. So cool. Uh, and what's really cool is he contacted us on Instagram, too, and he said he positioned that if we were to make a one-of-a-kind t-shirt where a t-shirt of this design or one of our drawings that he would autograph it and then we could you know auction it off and donate all the money to charity so uh michael man we, we hear you we hear your call and we'd like to take you up on that so uh, what what i will do is i will get a t-shirt and i will hand draw this design on it using uh, some markers and stuff like that. So you'll get a one-of-a-kind drawing by me, if you like that sort of thing. And hopefully we can socially distance meet up with Michael and get that autograph too. So that'll be really cool. More information to come. Let us know what you think. And yeah, I'm excited to draw on that t-shirt. That'll be really cool. Awesome. Cool. I'm excited to draw. A couple of my favorite things. Great. So let's get started, right? All right. So I'm going to take my piece of paper right here. There we go. And I'm going to be holding my paper. Let me see. Can you guys see that? Okay. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to be holding my paper horizontally, which means sideways. You know, most people, like when you get a piece of paper, you're like, blah, 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 blah. it's long ways. I'm going to have mine sideways like this. So I'm going to be grabbing with my, my brush pen here. And like we say in our drawing here, we want to kind of plan out where we want everything to be on our paper, right? Before I get into that, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh my goodness, Herm, I can't draw this. This is too crazy. Don't worry. I'm going to sit here with you and we'll go through it step by step. And we'll, I kind of broke it down so we can kind of make it pretty easy for all of us to digest and draw with it. And remember that everybody's drawing is going to be a little bit different. And that's what makes art really, really fun. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine or your brothers or your sisters or whomever. We're just going to have a good time and we'll get to this. Sound good? All right. Let's do it. So like I said, we want to plan out where everything's going to be. So if you have a pencil, you can kind of make some shapes where you want, maybe like a big oval right here for Shea Stadium. And then, you know, Michael coming down here in the parachute. Uh, I'm going to be drawing just with my pen here, just so you guys can see it really clearly on your screens. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the parachute. So my parachute's going to come in like right down here because he's like flying in from the, from the sky, right? That's so cool. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's draw that. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to draw a couple of like arches in a way. So I'm going to go like this. So it's going to be like that. One, two. I'll just make a couple. Let's see, I got about six of them right there. Can you guys see that okay? So I got about six of these little arches right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a nut, follow that same shape, but just lightly on top, a little heavenly glow, as we like to say. So a little, so I'm just kind of doing the same shape at the top there. Just kind of patching that in. So pardons if my big freckly hand is in the way. I will make sure to move it for you guys <laughs> on that. Cool. So this right here that we have, Congratulations, you guys are artists now. You're drawing, which is amazing. So this is going to be like the, kind of like the side of the parachute, right? That's coming on in. 
as you can see, it's like this part of it right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up this parachute and then make our way down, okay? So you have to imagine when the parachute's coming down, all this air is coming into the, the parachute, the fabric, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it look like the air is popping the, the, the parachute up, the fabric of it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm just gonna make like a line like this. Pop. Just this like curved line like that, you see that? Now that I have that, I'm gonna come in a little bit and do the same thing. Do you see where I'm getting at? So I'm kind of making like these curved lines. They're gonna come up and bounce like that. So I'm just gonna come around that. And as I'm getting here uh, towards the end, I'm gonna make my curve a little bit bigger, round it out, and then I'm gonna connect it right at the end here. So it almost looks like, I don't know, like a sandwich, like a baguette. That looks, oh my God, you can always tell how hungry I am when I'm drawing based on what <laughs> I decide the drawing looks like. That's definitely a baguette. Look at that. Oh man, that's delicious. Cool, anyway, sorry. Now that we have our tent right there, our tent, goodness gracious, this is our parachute. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in the, the back part of the parachute because we're gonna make it like, you know, 3D. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm gonna draw a curved line like this. Just one like that. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come make me a little bit down and I'm just gonna go, wow, kind of make that fun line, right? Just a fun little line. You might reckon, if you've seen all of our episodes, you might recognize this shape. We love this one. That's like, you can pretty much do anything with the shape, a brim of a hat, someone's nose, all that. Anyway, now that I have that, I'm gonna come up here and just, there we go, connect it to our baguette kind of parachute that we have here. So you see, like, there's, we just kind of made this fun little shape right there. So just like I did here, this little heavenly glow, I'm gonna do here too, so just a little bit there. Now, the reason that I do these little heavenly glows, I say here, I just think that this little extra bit of detail really brings it out. It's like, whoa, that's cool. It makes it add a little bit more to it. So that's up to you if you wanna do it. That's something I've always done on my drawings. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so look at that right here. So that is our parachute. So this is our final drawing here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down a little bit and we're gonna draw our parachute. Gun. We're gonna draw Michael here, right? Michael, if you're there, man, I hope you don't mind me calling you by your first name. We haven't met yet, but we'll have you there. I give you the, the respect you deserve, my dude. There we go. So we got it. We got our parachute guy right here. So we're going to add him right here. Let me show you how I'm going to draw it. So I'm going to break it down into a couple of shapes. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his head, right? So all I'm going to do, let's see, we're going to have our lines come here, maybe right about here. I'm just going to draw a circle. See that? There's a little oval in a way, kind of right there. So Let's draw some fun stuff on there, right? So he has, so I'll pull out. you guys can see that, that circle there? Nothing too crazy. So now I'm gonna draw some glasses on there because he has some goggles, right? To protect his eyes from the wind. So I'm just gonna draw some goggles there. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Looks like a little bean. So there we go, we got our little goggles there. Let's give him a nose, right? So I'm gonna come down with a little line. And I just added a little nose there. Can you guys see that okay? There we go. And he's having a time of his life, so let's draw a smiley, a little smiley face, right? There we go. <laughs> That's so cute. Cool, so we got our, our goggles here, our nose and our smile. Let's put a little ear, right? So his ear is gonna be like right here. So all I'm gonna do is just come up and put like the letter C, just on the side right there. See that there? So now let's give him some hair. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, maybe some little squiggly lines up here for some hair. A little in the back right there. You see that, man? So we got that right there. So there's our head, right, for our parachute. So like now, let's go and let's add the body in, right? So he's kind of wearing like a like a collar on his jumpsuit. So if you guys see, like he, you can't see with my beard here, but if you guys have a collared shirt, you see that there's like those folds there. That's what we're gonna draw right at your neck. 
So to do that, I'm just going to come down, right? Like here's his nose. And I'm going to make a line down like that. And then I'm just going to come around like this. You see that right there? Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. So come down like that and just come in like this. So you can see we got like the, the head with the, with the collar of the shirt now. All right, so let's go in and let's add his body, right? So I'm going to come in in the middle here and I'm going to draw this line right there in the middle. So this is like what the zipper of the jumpsuit would be. And then I'm going to come over here on this side on the left and I'm just going to kind of connect it. So we have this like U shape, right? The U right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side too. So I have the U right here. I'm going to come down and maybe about here. I have this. So basically I drew like, the, like a W, the letter W, you see that? Or fork or something, but let's go with W. Pop that right there. So this is like his chest, right? So now his arms are gonna be right here. So there, you have to imagine that he's attached to this parachute, right? That way, that's how he stays uh, intact. So I'm gonna draw like a, like a thick line, like right here and right here too. So you can see it basically it just like, this is what is attached to him, to the parachute. Kind of like a backpack, you know, when you go to school. Cool. So let's go in here now. So let's draw on his arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna come up with this curve like that. And then same thing down a little bump and then come up like this. And then make a little, and I'm just gonna connect it to his shoulder here. So you see, we got this like this shape right here. So this is like the elbow. And remember, if you look at your arm, it gets a little bigger towards your elbow and thins out towards your wrist. Cool. So let's give him let's give him some fingers, right? So so he's got five fingers. So there, let's make these little same kind of shape that we used for the head. So just these little ovals, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. We got our little hand right there, right? And I'm gonna come over here and do a similar thing with the arm. So I'm gonna come down like this. Make that little bit of a curve. And now, you know what? I'm going to add my, my hands in here right now. So again, let's make our five fingers. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. We got our hand right there. And now I'm just going to come around with this little curve here too. And you can see we have his arms. So this is what's really fun about art. Just by, it doesn't have to look exactly like a hand, you know, as long as you just make those shapes right there, everybody knows what you're talking about. He's got these giant hands here. Look at that <laughs> compared to his head. That's all right. We're having fun. Cool. So let's draw his legs now. So I'm going to come into the middle. Remember this line that we drew here? I'm just going to come down a little bit and we're going to make like a this kind of shape. See that right there? We have like a big letter U kind of that we did right here. And then on this side, I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the same shape, but I'm going to stop like halfway. Because we will have to imagine that his, he's like coming in for a landing, right? So this leg is behind his body. It's hidden. And this one here, let's go and draw a shoe. So I'm just going to come down and I'm going to make this little shape right there for his foot. Can you guys see that? There we go. Cool. So just like we did here with that backpack part for his parachute, we're going to do here in his leg. So we're going to put like another thick line here and then another line like right here. Because he's like totally suited up in there. Cool, right? There we go. So we got our little parachute here, right? So now let's connect him to this parachute. So I'm just going to come up here to the side on the front part, and I'm just going to connect lines to his shoulders, to these two big black marks that we made right there. And remember, like, see these little bumps, those little ends of the arches? I'm just going to connect that, all of those bumps there, to his shoulder piece right there. There we go. And remember, everybody's gonna look a little different depending on how big you drew them and stuff. So have fun with that. So there's our parachute. Hmm. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in this flag right here. This is my favorite part. So I'm gonna have it connected to one of my wires here, right? So I'll have this one right here. So I'm just gonna come to this wire I'm going to come down and make like this kind of shape. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Come up here. Up and like that. And we got this shape right here. 
So it gets basically like a wavy rectangle in a way, right? And he and so on this banner that he made, it says go Mets. So I'm just going to write go like these bubble letters. So G O. And then I'm gonna write Mets. So now you can totally draw over these lines you made for the parachute, right? That way, because when we color it in, it's gonna pop a little more, it's gonna look a little better. There we go. So we have go Mets there. So remember, it'll look a lot cooler when we color it in there. All right, so let's see. So here's my final drawing. Remember I said to plan it out? Oh boy, I didn't plan mine out so good. <laughs> so we're gonna have to make a little fun here. So, so if you guys want, you can maybe have a bigger piece of paper or something out there, but I'm just gonna work with what we got here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw Shea Stadium popping in here. So what we'll do is I've got my drawing right here. So the first thing we do is we're gonna draw like this kind of like a curve, this like circular curve that's the top of Shea Stadium. Cause Shea Stadium is basically like, you know, almost a circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm gonna draw a line right there. And I'm going to take that line. I'm just gonna come around like this. And I'm just gonna connect it just like that to that side there. Now I'm gonna come around on this side and just continue with that line. There we go. So this is the top of Shea Stadium. So you can see maybe it's not the most perfect circle, but that's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more lines to bump it up. So over here on this side here, I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna add another little line right there just to give a little bit of a 3D-ness. Same thing over here then. All right. And then right here on this part here, I'm just gonna come and I'm just gonna make this part, like the front part of it, just make that line a little thicker. So if you're using like a brush pen or a marker or a crayon, you just press a little harder on this part to kind of make it pop a bit more. All right, so this is the top of Shea Stadium. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a very similar shape like right here to get uh, our next part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a line down just like this. One right there and then over here right to another one just like this. And what I'm going to do is see you have those lines right there. Now I'm going to come down and I'm just going to connect it. Just like that. And we have this line. So you can see like this is the top part of Shea Stadium. And then there's this other little section of it on the bottom right there. Cool, right? All right, so I apologize. I know this isn't the most exciting part. It's very geometric, a lot of shapes in there, but we'll have some fun with it. So now that we have that right here, we're gonna draw these rectangles, right? On this side. So I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm gonna draw one rectangle like this so you can see what I mean. So you see I came I started here and then I made that rectangle shape and I'm gonna make four of these shapes so that's one and then I'll put one right here so and I'm just putting like a line down a line down and then we come down like that. Another here so this is three one there we go another rectangle and then I'm gonna have one like here so that's four. So you can see what we did is I, I kind of followed along with the shape of my Shea Stadium right here. Oh man, I apologize for my drawing right now. I'm just kind of fit, trying to fit in <laughs> with the paper shape. Hey man, we're all having fun. All right, so now what we're gonna do is let's, so this is the top part of the ramps, those famous ramps that you guys got to walk up. Remember those? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and make like a box shape over here. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here on the left and I'm going to build one line down like that and another one like this. You see that right there? And then at the bottom I'm just going to connect it like this. So I'm like rounding it out at the bottom because remember Shea Stadium it's round, right? Do the same thing here. One, two, and again it's going to round it out. And then I'll pop that right there. 
So again, you can see what I'm doing, right? I'm just making like these big rectangle shapes. And I am just drawing them down right there like this. Look at that. See, we're starting to get something, right? So now over here, I'm just going to kind of connect these rectangles. So I'm going to make these rectangle on this side right here. Uh, and then like right here. Now, the reason I'm, I'm adding these little bit of extra rectangles here on the side is it makes it look a little 3D, right? Kind of pops it out like that. So what's really cool about when you're drawing this type of stuff, this is what's called like a type of perspective to make it look 3D where you're kind of seeing it. So we're looking at it like coming, kind of coming down, like we're from the plane basically. And that's what's kind of making all of this pop. Cool. So that's there. And then in the middle here, let's, let's finish out. So I'm just gonna take a curve line and in between all those spaces here, I'm just gonna fill that in with a line there to get it like kind of circular. Mine is looking rough, my photo. How's your guys drawing doing? Good? <laughs> Thanks for drawing with me. I can't wait to see your guys'. All right, so almost done with the outside here. So as you can see in our my original drawing, look, look at that. You can see that there's the ramps, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some diagonal lines. So going down, going up, going down, going up, right? So let's do that right here. So over here on the left, I'm gonna come down with just some diagonal lines. So I'm doing like, so I'm gonna be one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. So now this is going down on this one. So on this one, I'm going to go up, right? So I'm going to go the opposite way. So one, two, one, two. And you guys get what I'm doing, right? So feel free to jump ahead of me on this. I'm just going to pop that in there. One, two, three. And the same thing here. I guess now I'm going to go down. So I'm just coming from this corner and popping that in. I remember walking up these ramps at Shea and it was like, the most exciting thing. I always loved walking up it, but when it was time to leave, oh my God, you're like in a sea of people. It's crazy to think about. <laughs> but I think at, at City Field, they have, I don't know if it was meant as like an homage or like a, a shout out to Shea, but if you go out, I guess on the third base side there, they have those little bit of a ramps that kind of go out to the back there. So I kind of stay away from that because it always takes much longer <laughs> to walk through, but that's there. Cool. So we're getting there now. So. What I'm going to do here, just remember how we made this shape right here that I'm going to do that on these in the inside here, but I'm going to kind of break it out. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I'm just going to put a little bit of a line between these gaps of these diagonal sheets. So you see that right there? So I just line stop, line stop, line stop. And that's just to make it look 3D like it's popping out, right? The same thing here, line stop, line stop. And I'm stopping where my diagonal lines are. And now over here, I'm going to do it the same thing, but on the other side, so on the right side. So stop, line stop, line stop, line stop. There you go. And then one last time here. All right. So now what we have, so that's, that's a good outline of the outside. So let's go ahead and let's draw in the inside of Shea Stadium right now. So there's a couple of different levels, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on the left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make mine a little longer here. We'll fix this in editing. Look at that. That's much better now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw a line that comes down like this, like a diagonal line like that. See that? You drew that? Now I'm going to curve it in to this part right here. So what I mean, you can see, so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to make this curve. It comes like that. So you see this shape right there? So a line down like that, and then a curve like that. So this is going to be the upper deck. And then I'll add another little heavenly glow right here. So you see that just another little line right there. And again, I'm doing this to make it look, make it pop a little bit more in our drawing when we color it. So that's one. So we're going to draw two more of these. So I have that here. Now we're going to draw that like middle section here. So again, just another little line, but it's just a little bit smaller this time. And then again, same thing, just coming in. So you see, this is a bigger one. 
This is a smaller one. And then again, just that little heavenly glow right there. That's that. Let's do one more. So you can see I'm kind of going in just a little bit there, guys, guys and gals. And then we'll pop that in right there. There we go. So we have these three levels. So one, two, three for those kind of pops right there. Let's do the same thing over here now. So again, same thing, but just the opposite. So remember, mine's going to go like behind our parachute jumper, right? Because he's like coming into Shea Stadium. So again, like I'm just going to make sure that it goes behind him. So there's one. Is that upper, upper deck? And then feel free to jump ahead. And he's going to move forward by two and three. So again, if, if you had never got the chance to go to Shea Stadium, that upper deck was like climbing a mountain. <laughs> it was so high. You were just like <laughs> trying to make it there. So yeah. What this is where I always sat. We could never really get any of the cool seats at the bottom there. Maybe a handful of times I sat in the in the field level, but we got them up there. All right, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a curved line that connects from here to this level here. So I'm just gonna make a curve line. Whoa, just like that. Just like that there. Excellent. So just a little line that comes across. And then right here, let's go and let's add that field level seats. So, so here's the end of that level, right? See, remember that corner we drew? I'm going to come in just a little bit, like right about here. And I'm just going to make this diagonal line that comes down like that. Just one there. And I'm do the same thing over here. So again, there's that corner. I'm going to come a little bit. And again, I'm going to make mine come right behind my parachute guy. And then another little heavenly glow there. There we go. Just like that. So now we got, I'm going to add some people in these stands, right? So all I'm going to do, and this is a really good way if you want to draw a lot of people, especially like in the stands. This is what I do when I'm drawing the, the baseball games at Chase Stadium or excuse me, City Field. I just take my pen or pencil and I make these little squiggles. And you can stop, move around, and you're just making these like squiggly lines. So here we're not going for photorealism of our crowd. It doesn't have to look like a picture, right? So you see, it kind of looks like like uh, like there's people there, right? So if you want to get really, you could take the time and draw people in there, but I'm not going to do that. That sounds crazy, crazy but fun. So you see, just by making those fun little lines, right? This is a little drawing tech, a little little cheat, right? So just by making those crazy little lines there, it looks like some people, right? Let's do the same thing over here. Wow. Pop this in there. So at the end, I'll show you guys my website and you can go in and see a lot of the, the baseball game drawings I did. And if you look closely, you'll see this is how I draw all of the crowd. Like I'll draw like people in front of me, really like, you know, I'll draw the hats and their hair and their face and stuff. But when it's like further out, I draw these little lines. Cool, look at that crowd, it's packed. What was that 55,000 people? Where did I get that number from? Did I make that up? There we go. Okay, cool. So we're almost done here. So now let's go and let's make our baseball diamond, right? So here's home. So how they, like home plate's gonna be like right about here, right? But you have to imagine that it's like hidden behind the roof of Shea Stadium right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make this little curved line. See that right there? Make that little curved line. So that's going to be like the inside part of home plate, that little batter's box. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a diagonal line up here, just like that, and then one up here. And again, remember, you can go behind the parachute here. So that's the inside of our diamond. And now there's a little bump right there for third base. There could be one right here. Now I'm going to come across here. You can see I'm drawing my baseball diamond right now. This like that. So that's the inside here. So now let's put another little circle. This is where the, the pitcher's about. The pitcher's mind would be. And then right here, I'm just gonna come out another line right there. And we're gonna draw the outside of that diamond there. Just like this, right? So you can see. So sorry if I'm going too fast there, but again, I just made a line out like that and then a curve up. And then one like this too. Cool. So let's put, I'll put a little base here. So a little rectangle for third base, a little one for second base. Feel free to, to draw on the players right there. Well, I don't have enough room. I'm going to leave mine like that. 
And then in the outfield here, there's some stuff, right? So you can put whatever you want here, but I like there's these lights here. So I'm going to draw like these two big, long rectangle shapes. There's one. And I'll draw another one right here. This was the key span logo that used to be right here. I don't even know if they're still a company anymore, but there used to be a thing, right? It was like, if you hit it, you won money or something. I don't know, but it wasn't there in 86. So there's those two uh, rectangles. So I'm gonna draw some circles here. These are gonna be our lights. Yeah, and then I'll make a, a rectangle right here. That's more of a square, right? This is gonna be our scoreboard. So I'll put like another line here and here. And then back here, I'm gonna draw another rectangle. I don't know what you call this part right here, but there was this would like kind of like switch sides, like there was like uh, like like blinds almost. I'm gonna draw some little lines in there. There we go. So I'm not gonna put too much more detail in it because I'm kind of squeezing everything in there. But the last thing I'm gonna draw is I'm just gonna write Chase Stadium right here, just so we, know, just so if anybody had any doubt, they'll know. So again, apologies for my freckly hand, but not bad, right? <laughs> that was a really fun drawing to do. Some of it was a little tough for sure. You can see like everybody, I hope you guys had fun with it. Even I made a couple of mistakes on there, but it's all right. We're just having fun here. And what's cool is that you went through this one time. I'll be honest, sometimes when I'm doing like a big drawing, you know, for, for whomever, a magazine or newspaper stuff, I'll draw that drawing maybe five times. Like I'll just sketch it out and draw it and stuff. So if it doesn't look good the first time, you can always draw it again. And remember, you can always rewind this and draw it from there too, which is really cool. And watch it all again. Awesome, cool. That, I said that to make myself feel better because my drawing's so funny. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so now that we have it drawn in there, let's color it in, right? So I got my crayons here, whoa, yeah. So let's see, let's go. So let's pop that in there. So this is where you can get a little creative, kind of draw, color it however you want. But I'm just gonna kind of color this in orange real quick. And while we're doing this, how, how's everybody's day going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you are being good to everybody, saying hello to everybody in the streets, being cool to your mom and dad, all that fun stuff. So there's a little orange there. And again, I'm just gonna kind of pop through this, so draw some blue there. So let us know in the, in, the, uh, in the little comments box right there where you guys are drawing from. So if my Shea Stadium is blue, right? So I'm gonna color that in there. So man, we've had people from, man, we've had so many. We have people from Milan and Japan, which is cool. You know, the great state of New Jersey and New York, Tri-State area, and people from all over the country, LA, Minnesota. I'm just dropping a few. So make sure to drop that in there so we can see. And it's cool too, cause you know, after, you know, 25, uh, drawing sessions together, we're kind of seeing the same kind of crew in there, right? We're getting some of the same people drawing with us and stuff. So it's really awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming and draw with us. I hope that you have enjoyed drawing with us as much as I have here. So let's see some green. I'm going to color in our field right there, a little green right there. And we'll pop that in. So we'll color that in here. So I'm just kind of popping that in right there. So feel free to jump ahead of me on this. A little brown for the field there. So let us know. Do, do you guys remember when this happened? If if you were, you know, if you were born at this time, or if you remember it, let us know what it is. I saw on the Seven Lines Instagram some people were letting out some stories in the comments, which I thought were really cool about you know seeing this or have being there at the game and such, which is really fun. So again, I'm going to come up here. So these seats in the upper deck are red. So I'm going to put that red in there. Same thing up here. So do you guys, so I remember, does anybody have any bits of Shea Stadium? I know they were selling off some of it. I know some people were kind of like popping in the garbage <laughs> for certain things. I, my dad, he picked up a, a, a set of seats which hold a special place in his house. It's always kind of fun to sit on that. So blue in the middle, orange down here. We put a little yellow for the lights. And feel free to take some, you know, spend some more time with this coloring than I am. I'm just gonna kind of go through it. And then up here, I'm just gonna draw some 
some blue and orange kind of like confetti in the background here, just to add a little fun to our drawing there. So we'll pop that in right there. Little bits of fun, little orange, maybe a little orange on this here too. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then, uh, you know what, maybe I'll take, I'm just gonna kind of color in between these parts of the ramp here. Look at that. And again, I'm just doing this majorly fast. So feel free to color in the lines, have some fun. This is just fun. We have a good time. A little gray in that fair outfit. Cool. Look at that masterpiece. Goodness gracious me. Hold on. We got a little blue there. <laughs> awesome. Well, look at that. Did you think that you would ever be drawing this in your life? Well, guess what? You did. Pretty awesome. So now the number one thing we always say with your drawing is you spent a lot of time with it. You had a lot of fun. So let's let's let the world know how, that it's yours. So let's sign our drawing, right? So I'm going to take a pen. I'm going to usually sign in the bottom right here. I'm going to write my name there. Let's get a little Herm. So I'll sign that there. I have these little smiley faces. Ooh, yeah. And then I think it's really important to date your drawing. That way you know it's kind of like a souvenir, right? Like what you did on that day. And uh, so today, what did we say? Today is July 8th. Then you can put that in anywhere, 2020. And what's cool too, you know, if you keep drawing and you're having a lot of fun drawing like I do, you can kind of see how much better your drawings have gotten over time. Because just like exercise, you know, drawing is a muscle. And you can see how much better you get overall with all of that. So awesome. There is our drawing right there, which is cool. Let's put that one. That's my better one right there. Cool. Awesome, guys. That was amazing. So now that we had a good time drawing that in there, let's uh, let's share out our drawings, right? So I'll pop that right there. <clears throat> so if you are really proud of your drawing and you want to share it down with our little art club that we have right here, we would love to see it. It's one of my favorite things. You can post it in the Facebook chat that you're in right now. Uh, but if you want to post, uh, tag me on Instagram, you can find me at Herm Herman. Just tag me right there and I'm always going to post it and repost all that sort of fun stuff. If Twitter's more your things, no worries there. You can find me at hermsterms.com. Pop you there. I'd love to see it. Love to repost them. And let's not forget to tag the seven line too. That way we can pop those out. And remember, you can always, uh, while we're still going through this, we can hook it up with a $10 gift card. We'll pick three people out for our next lesson too, which is cool. Now, if social media is not your thing, don't worry, I got you covered. You can email me at herm at hermsterms.com. I get a lot of emails from the, everybody, which is really cool. So I love to see your drawings. And if you want to see a little bit more of my drawings, my work, you can visit my work here at hermsterms.com. And you can see some of the, the comics and drawings and all my net drawings and stuff that I've done on there. Hey, awesome. Herm. Yeah. I think that we should also tell everyone watching at home that if they'd like to also tag Michael Sergio, I, I know he'd like to see them. Yes, so that's hit, right. How can I forget? On Instagram, he is at Michael underscore Sergio. So if you guys want to search for him, he wrote in the comment from his post that he'd love to see all the art. So definitely shoot him a tag as well, guys. Yeah, so make sure to tag Michael Sergio. We're going to pop that in the comments section and all that there too. Uh, so first off, thank, thank you to Michael Sergio for allowing us to draw it. I know we didn't ask permission. We had fun with it. I hope that we did you a service. Always always awesome man i hope all's well with you and your family uh thank you all for drawing along with us you guys are incredible you're gonna do amazing things with your day and with your life and i'm so blessed to sit here and draw with you guys you're unbelievable have a great day and we will see you next week where we'll be drawing mike piazza whoa maybe with the bleached hair that was a cool look right so we'll see all right guys be good i'll see you next week right bye